Yes, and welcome back to our first session of the interviews on the touchline on Y254. And of course, I'm pleased to have the National Women's Amputee Football Team in the studio. They did reach the fourth place, finished fourth at this year's World Cup. Amazing results along the way. We had to talk about their performance as well as the forthcoming championships. Karibuni Sana, uh, the Amputee Women's Football Team. And I'll begin by introducing them on my immediate right. The assistant coach was in charge of this particular squad in Colombia. That's where the World Cup was. Sharon Nyaoke is the assistant coach for the women's amputee team. And of course, Clara Siele is the captain for this particular side. And Karen Msungu was responsible for the goals that they did score in the championship in the at the center. And defender Joan Nebe. Karibu sana. Kwenye show, sio. We talk about your performance in Colombia and everybody just agrees that it was one of the best performances from this particular side, especially at the reception that the team got. Uh, Sharon, um, maybe you can begin by talking about what was the motivation for this result and what do you make kwa your achievement ya kumaliza number four at the World Cup? Well, first and foremost, uh -huh. uh, nata kuchukuru kwanza gava yetu. Uh -huh. That is the ministry from the PS. Mm -hmm. And then, secondly, Takushkuru, our federation. Mm -hmm. Starting from our secretary general, Mr. Peter Olo, usually works behind the scenes, but in the end only to facilitate Baka to Kafika mm -hmm. World Cup. Mm -hmm. Because PIA and secretary general was Sakafa from Africa. Mm -hmm. So we had that privilege to have one of us when he and his idea to Fike to South to represent Africa, mm -hmm. not even Kenya, mm -hmm. but Africa. Uh, the ladies were mm -hmm. ilikuwa teamwork. Mm -hmm. First thing was ilikuwa teamwork. The teamwork was good. The connection. To me talka from different part of backgrounds here, but the connection, it was the best part. So, kwa ile achievement to me make, I think ni one of the amazing thing to make history, which we didn't even know we'll make that history. It's only that to mistook it all go kuleta kombe nyumbani, but next time lazima to ilete nyumbani. Uh -huh. mm. Clara, is it the feeling is still the same as what the coach is talking about, that the team made history, but to you as a player, how does this measure up to your performance and your career so far in football? Thank you up first for inviting us here and concerning the game and also as a player. It is a big achievement for me. And I was able to rank myself individually that I'm capable and I have the potential to do even more than what I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, Karen, yes. Uh, to assist in the tournament, without you there will be no goals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, uh -huh. without the team, because uh -huh. it was all a team effort. Uh -huh. It was actually an honor, not yeah. just to represent ourselves as persons with disability, but to carry the millions of Kenya, of Kenyans, and also Africa at large, because at the tournament, we were the only African country. Uh -huh. And so it was such a privilege to represent Kenya uh -huh. and Africa. And so we gave our best, each and every person gave their best. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's Karen, Karen Sungu talking about uh, the performance of this particular team. Uh, to assist, do you have a favorite of the two? About with the the two assists? Uh, I think against oh, England, of course, I can think. Against England. <laughs> <laughs> of course, against England, uh -huh. yes. And, and when the goal was scored, yes. when, when the team beat England, everybody felt like you, you we really won. believed, We've right? We've done it. Uh -huh. We've done, I, actually, we felt that we can do it. Uh -huh. There's nothing that's impossible uh -huh. when you set your mind to it. So when we beat them, and I know it was a, it, it was a big name. You uh -huh. know, England is a big name. Uh -huh. So the fact that we were able to beat them and uh, they, they rank number five after us is a, is a big achievement. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Joan? Yes. For you, the feeling is still the same when the <laughs> team beat England, but maybe you can just talk about the feeling of uh, finishing fourth, you know, at this particular championship when you went as underdogs, I could say so, but you came back really uh, eager to present the flag, to return the flag. How, what did it mean for you to participate in this tournament? Uh, uh, participating the, in, that, in the tournament mm -hmm. was an amazing thing unto me because 
it was the first time for me to participate on it. Mm -hmm. And we gave our best. And coming on position four mm -hmm. was, uh, we, as we went there, we had the one thing in common, we come with a cup, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but things happen. Mm -hmm. Anasema fitu kwa ground was different. Uh -huh. <laughs> so ili kwa different. Uh -huh. But we gave our best uh -huh. on it. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, coach, um, what made maybe the team achieve this particular result? Nini lifanya team ikapata result? Considering it team ilikuja pamoja, maybe kaka pamoja less than a month. Sio kwa training yeah. camp. Na pia wachizaji wametoka places different. Udusa sema commitment yao. Uh -huh. Neza kuambia, ah ladies wali ji push to an extent hata mimi nilikuwa najiuliza kama i'm pushing them na wanapitisha ile limit yao but usually tukitrain nilikuwa nawaambia peana 100 god pia anafanya the rest uh -huh. so ukipeana 100 me i believe if you give a 100 uh -huh. and then positive mind you can achieve anything anything there's nothing you can't achieve uh -huh. yeah yeah and clara know that um, maybe to hundreds of players who participated in this particular tournament the mpt women's um, uh, World Cup, they had like inspiring stories, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What's your story? Actually, I wasn't born this way. I was involved in a road accident way back in 2012. That was a month to KCAC. But the thing th with me is that I accepted my situation very fast. And I was a person who has been playing since class three, if I'm not wrong. So the sport was with me what it was inside me so it is something that has been doing even when i was in campus i could play handball mm -hmm. with just my hand so when the opportunity opened up i took it with both hands mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah and now you're a teacher teaching um kiswahili <laughs> yeah Wahi. i'm a teacher of kiswahili uh -huh. and CRE in bomet county uh -huh. Uh -huh. chapter by secondary school uh -huh. yeah so when you're playing when you went for the national <laughs> duty the school supports you they it, let the curriculum rest <laughs> <laughs> yeah they do support me like 100 percent fully mm -hmm. because even i'm a coach back in school mm -hmm. i coach my students even we are bomet champions i'm carrying a <laughs> title in bomet county <laughs> So even back at my in, in my station, they know mm -hmm. that I'm a games person. Mm -hmm. So they normally allow me to attend. But normally, I have to find my own time to carry out my duties. Even before I left for training for World Cup, I'd already completed my syllabus. Because uh -huh. at the end of the day, these students deserve it also. Uh -huh. They have to learn. Mm -hmm. So it is upon me to make my own time to mm -hmm. ensure I've delivered there mm -hmm. so that even the concerned person like head teacher mm -hmm. will allow me to go to get out of school yeah mm -hmm. Karen yes for, uh, you. Uh -huh. for me I, I had a problem uh, when I was born so early x-ray showed that there was a there was a problem with the, with my left my right bone and um, I had my amputation while in class five and started the journey all through so in school I was involved in sports I did uh, wheelchair racing I did uh, and, and netball, all those, and also played volleyball. But then after school, uh, I did not know how to uh, continue with that until I met someone uh, al la late last year who told me about uh, the amputee football. And I was able to join the team from December, and uh, I have done that until uh, I got the opportunity to represent my country at the mm -hmm. World Cup. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, Rebe? Uh, with me. I got my amputation 2018. So with me, I played foot, uh, football defense in high school. I played handball in primary school. And I do rowing, I do swimming, and I'm a dancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, apart from that, I'm a design craf uh, graphic designer. I do posters and other things. Mm -hmm. So uh, with foot po in amputee football, I didn't know it exists until mm -hmm. one day I was called mm -hmm. by one of the officials that there is amputee football and we need you. And I was like, uh, I don't know how to play. I have one leg, mm -hmm. how will I play it? And surprisingly, that day we had visitors there. So when I, was, I went there, 
I was like, you have to try. I went even without uh, playing shoes. Mm -hmm. I was given mm -hmm. by, I think Karen was the one who <laughs> gave me the right <laughs> shoe to play with on that day. She gave me shoe and socks, socks. Uh -huh. <laughs> that day. Uh -huh. And we played and because Sharon identified that I can do it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She asked me, uh, have you ever played football? I said I played football uh, in high school. And since I finished high school, uh -huh. I have never played it. Uh -huh. And she asked me, would you try? I say, I know the position I played was defense. Mm -hmm. If you give me defense, I will play it well. Mm -hmm. And that's what she gave me. Uh -huh. and, and I uh, did my best on it. And indeed, and you went on to represent the country, uh, maybe seeing the Kenyan flag, mm -hmm. fly abroad, and yeah. it's just because of you. The feeling is emotional. Yeah. 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 Hearing the national anthem being sung uh -huh. in a foreign land far away. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's quite something. Yeah, and one of the few African countries there. The only one. The only one. The only one. Yeah. Uh-huh. So <laughs> if I'm going pressure, maybe I could be the whole continent? Of course, to yes. feel to make proud. Uh-huh. Yeah. Coach, how did you make sure that um, <laughs> despite Kwamba, especially after a win against England, so the group run was so amazing, especially mm. after the win against England, and then, of course, through the quarterfinals, Il Queen Apia Kwamba, the title was coming home? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But... Tulikona one slogan kwa kamu. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa, we tackle one Mandi. game at a time. Mm -hmm. Atufikiri pressure kesho. Mm -hmm. We were just thinking, kama ni England, we tackle them. Mm -hmm. We finish with England, mm -hmm. tuka ingia kuota. Ukraine came, tuka maliza na nao. Columbia pia ikakamu, mm -hmm. things went their way, but we thank God at least, mm -hmm. tulijipata bado, tuko mm -hmm. same, yeah? Mm -hmm. Poland came also, mm -hmm. ikakuwa hivu. Mm -hmm. So, tulikona tackle one game at a time. Mm -hmm. Because, if me my pressure, pressure is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. In football, if I if I put pressure on them, mm -hmm. they will start losing focus. Mm -hmm. Now focus is not going to So if we just give them, yes, you can do it, and this is the game, not the other one that is coming. Mm -hmm. This one that you are playing, this is the game. Mm -hmm. So we focus on this first, and then we go to the next one, mm -hmm. and it worked with us. What yeah. What did you learn? Maybe because of games, can you against the uh, four or five opponents? It was a good experience. First, it was a good experience. Beating a team that in the Coca League from way back mm -hmm. because abroad the amputee ladies were making a kiches. Coca League. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with this our game, before what I introduced you last year, the men and the women could play in the same team. Mm -hmm. yeah. So unapata abroad US, Poland, England, au kulikonga na female players when you're not the national team mm -hmm. who are the men. So us being at the underdogs to make them too without even knowing anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was so surprising and then they gave it their all. Mm -hmm. Also us we gave it our all. So the teamwork, the blend, the it was so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it did bring joy of course yeah. to the country mm -hmm. and to the team. Maybe talking about the pro league, Zile countries and Bazikona Ligipoa, some of them have been scouted. Yeah, yeah, Kulikona, the talks were there. Uh -huh. So we're still waiting for them to finalize everything. Mm -hmm. Then we see. A number of players, how many? Maybe you could reveal their names mm -hmm. if it's proper. No, no, uh -huh. no. <laughs> 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 A number of players. Clara, <laughs> uh -huh. As for this tournament, what did it mean to you now? You know, it, if you are a handball coach, means now football can never leave you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it means a lot. Mm -hmm. And I took it like a stepping, mm -hmm. stepping stone mm -hmm. to a greater height. Mm -hmm. I believe like we didn't give our best because we didn't know. Mm. We, don't, we didn't have exposure as we said earlier. So we couldn't see our capabilities. Unasikia England kuna kabaridi kanakuja. Ukisikia Poland kuna kabaridi kanakuja. But for now, mm. we were able to see that we are capable. Mm. They have nothing against us. Mm. And being that we train for a shorter period, Mm. It meant like, if given chance, mm. enough time, we could deliver best. Mm -hmm. At a final, mm -hmm. so you share the same? 
Yes, I will share the same. It also means for me that uh, I can still be someone else because for me personally, I work as a child protection officer. I am a civil servant. Mm -hmm. That I can still do my work and also get time to do sport. And that also, as a person with disability, it makes me strong because I go there. I, this is physical and I need that for me to be able to do my other duties. So it's a big win for me, an achievement for me that I could be able to get to that top. And as coach said, none of us had ever played football before. All of us were beginners. Mm -hmm. And it means that with time, we can be able to do much more than what we have done. Mm -hmm. yes. As a team, right? Yes, yeah. as and a so team. For the team, um, more matches coming up, um, yes. Joanne. Uh, what what's remaining now? Reaching the World Cup, mm -hmm. uh, fourth place. It can only be another World Cup, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing yeah. short of that. Yeah, there's another World Cup uh -huh. in 2018, uh -huh. 2028, uh -huh. and we are looking forward on it. Yeah. And we are looking to bring the cup mm -hmm. back in Africa. Mm -hmm. We need that cup in Africa, and we are working on it. Uh, from there, uh, apart from that, we have uh, Champion League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will be hosted in England, mm -hmm. and still, we, we are they want revenge on us, and we are going to show them that what we gave them uh -huh. was not just uh, by what, the way, a yeah. fluke or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we are going to show them that we gave them the right thing. Mm -hmm. We gave them what they wanted, uh -huh. and indeed. So you may be thinking about turning to coaching one day after football. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. How, how important would this be? What would you want to tell? What, what kind of... If you want to tell you what you want when you now be getting into coaching? Just as a player right now, you want to win and achieve a lot. <laughs> uh, when I, I get the coaching opportunity, mm -hmm. what, are we, uh, the, the, what are the words I will tell the team is like, we with the slogan ya kujituma, mm -hmm. my players have to kujituma to kabisa. Mm -hmm. As our coach tell us, minim deadly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, pia si tulikuwa na ili hata sisi ni wa deadly. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'll be giving them. Mm -hmm. I give what I got from my coach. Yes, and coach, maybe for the absence of presence ya league ya, um, ya, ya amputee football, right? Among mm -hmm. the ladies. Iko na advantage ama disadvantage, yes, gani? Semi kuna disadvantage. Mm -hmm. There's no advantage yet, mm -hmm. but ikona disadvantage mm -hmm. in this sense. Mm -hmm. You know, us as ladies, mm -hmm. mimi kama mini kicheza, ili time tuli kwanza pre-season, mm -hmm. if you don't train my friend, muki rudi tizi, kuna rudi square one. Mm -hmm. No, no, but if you have the leagues that are running, mm -hmm. it's so easy to you just pick like una pick two from one person to another, the another team to another mm -hmm. team, which uh, our federation wana jaribu to check on that. Mm -hmm. Even the men's league Peter Hansa mm -hmm. wa, wa me to promise on that. Uh, the SG sai yata bila tunaongea yuko Burundi, mm -hmm. preparing for Sakafa, mm -hmm. Mr. Peter Ulo, tunamshukuru sana. Ana to prepare for Sakafa, which itakuwa both men mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. women, March next year. Mm -hmm. So, Akirudi Hivi, and then afterwards, tutakuwa na sisi pia, tutakuwa na Afcon yetu. Yes. Na lazima tulete kikombe. Both men and both ladies. Yeah, and we look forward to hosting you, yes. right? And um, talk about the um, the trip, uh, Clara. Uh, you know, opening game, mm. was it the nil-nil draw? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Uh, like 23 hours or yeah. so, the yeah. flight, yo. yeah. But when you go there, you go the draw. Yeah. like view for the tournament. How did it? <coughs> what kind of impact you could travel like Kisha could draw? What did? What kind of impact did you have to the uh, on the team? Actually, we had a lot of trials. Mm. If you were able to watch that game, to uh -huh. sana and like 90% trials. So I felt like ile kuchoka. Mm. People even couldn't have that power to mm. to shoot. And those girls were very fast. Mm. Mm. They were very fast. And I think I noticed with the Haiti, game kipanda wanapanda. Mkishuka mnashuka now. So it was a challenge. And being that first thing, when you went to Ajay travel, mm. with the fatigues and everything, then there was, this is the World Cup. Mm. We've never played friend, we've never played leagues. Actually, that was our first friendly. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> so to, 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 to fast friendly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love with the title Coach. of this is World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> the title that uh, in the World yeah, Cup yeah, yeah. Mm. So kuna ile vile tulianza kuna igiza. Mm -hmm. But with those trials mingi tuliona tuko capable ni sisi tu watu kuzi convert on the right way. <coughs> That's why we corrected on the second match mm -hmm. with Pero. Yes. The second what yes. she's saying. Mm -hmm your first game mwili zetu zikuwa zimefunguka na pia ili tusaidia the other teams thought that hawa sasa ni bure kabisa so when ilifika time yao walikuwa wamekuja like hii team tutaipiga didn't know that pia sisi tume prepare kivi sisi so hata england i think walitubadilishia kikosi hivi wakiona hii ni ile team ya chini vile under 17 walipigwa we did the revenge but we did a good revenge after waliona tumefunga bao sasa the pro came in but walikuja bado wao pia wakaweka kwa line yao so ilikuwa tu ilikuwa good na naweza sema pia the fatigue ilikuwa hapo ilikuwa sio sema ilikuwa ilikuwa na mwili kabla ifunguke tu a foreign land amjazoea food the environment all this ilikuwa ina to affect ki somehow but we managed to get that first draw yes, and it was good yes and to add on that yes we won two against peru yep. but england ile nyorosha peru six mm -hmm. so i mm. think kuna vile wale tuchukulia and it was a lesson for us never underestimate a team mm. yeah ile team tumechapa tu wamechapa tu sisi tukachapata kumi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so you think utachapa wale the same will do mm -hmm. so it is a lesson also for us mm -hmm. a win is a win mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. six or ten mm -hmm. never underestimate a team mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yes indeed and um time really against us but we're waiting for that sekafa cup when it will be here <laughs> yes. and we'll talk now you know more yeah. and more yeah. looking forward to that <laughs> but just quickly uh clara msungu and and Naibe, just what this particular tournament uh, this particular win uh, means to you and maybe to the people who look up to you as well uh -huh. for me it means a lot mm -hmm. me a lot mm -hmm. i've mentored many people many people are approaching me what can i do to be where you are they are like looking for direction, guidelines, someone to guide them to light. Mm -hmm. And it is achievement for us. Nitafraya kesho Kenya kama akuta kuwa na mtu with disability kwa streets. Yeah. Msungu? Okay, for me it means that it can be done. So mm -hmm. for any person with disability, yuko kule nje, or a pa parents especially. And for us, it's our parents who gave us that uh, uh, motivation and made us feel like we are like other children. Mm -hmm. So for the parents out there who have children with disabilities, they can do much more than uh, what you think. Mm -hmm. So please be inspired and uh, if they're there and there are women with disability, please come join us. We have started out and we are looking to scout. I think yep. there are coach yeah. and a scout in each and every county yeah, yeah. so that we can be uh, more. Yes. 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 Uh, Joanne? Yeah, with me, uh, since uh, in life we have to have love. Mm. If you don't have love, no one will love you. If you want to be seen with people, start with yourself. Respect yourself, love yourself, and know who you are. Stand for yourself. Parents out there, uh, the message I want to leave to them is they have to release their kids to see the world. Mm. You know, we have those parents that una mtoto anataka kufanya kitu, una mkataza eti ujiwezi. Acha mtoto akitaka kosha kikombe muacha aoshe. Hata kama hata osha inare muacha aoshe. Mm -hmm. Akitaka yeah. kufagia wacha fagia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes indeed. Uh, for Sharon big uh, job ama assignment awaits. Sio ya ku lead team. I know coaches mm -hmm. as well as equipment, a whole lot of matters that uh, face you as you fight to make amputee football bigger and better for everybody yes. not just in the country but for mm. the continent and mm. for the good of the community and societies yes. thank mm. you so much the women's amputee football team for turning up on the touchline of course they finished fourth and also just remember that Sharon Yoki the assistant coach for this team played for Kangemi, Kangemi ladies that was in the women's premier league big up for to you <laughs> keep mentoring yeah the young and the youth those who want to join the team of course look out for them but remember that we also have the Kenya under 16 uh, men's 3-on-3 uh, three three basketball team coming up on our second session of the interview, so don't go too far. Stay with us on the touchline.